Okay, pre-calculus, we are going to go over the Unit 1, Lesson 6 formative assessment that is not for grading. So given those two functions, what is a simplified form of f of g of x? So we are going to substitute in 1 over x plus 3 into f of x for g of x. Okay, so I, I first rewrote that, and now we are going to substitute in 1 over x minus 3 everywhere we see x into f of x. So that's going to be, and I'll put it in parentheses, 1 over x minus 3 plus 3. Now, we can't add those together because we've got basically fractions with different denominators. So I'm going to make my 3 have the denominator I want it to have. And this is what I meant by we're going to be doing a lot of manipulation this year. If I multiply by 3 by x minus 3 over x minus 3, remember that there is a parentheses around every numerator and every denominator, which means that you're going to have to distribute this 3. That's just something that even calculus students forget, so I'm going to go over that many, many times this year. Now I can add those two fractions together. I'm going to do a couple steps in 1 because I know I can now add the numerators. That will be 1 plus 3 times x is 3x, and 3 times minus 3 is minus 9. And that's now over our new denominator because we were able to add the new fractions. You might have to look at that a couple times if you, got, if you had trouble understanding where those numbers came from. So press pause and make sure you understand that. Now, when I, uh, I think the only thing left to do is to add this minus 9 and this plus 1. So that, um, so that equals 3x minus 8 over x minus 3. Now, we, when we input this function, first thing we can tell is x cannot be equal to 3, because if x is 3, then our denominator will end up being um, 0, and that's going to be an undefined value. So the answer to number 1 is C. It cannot be equal to 3. All right, number 2. Given functions f and g, find the requested composite um, function value. So we're asked to find f of g of 4, which is the same as f of g of 4. So we are substituting in 4 into g of x first. So let's see, what's g of 4? g of 4 is... 2 times 4, right, which is 8. So f of 8 is what? The square root of 8 plus 3. I'm getting the square root of 11. Is that an answer? Yes, it is. Moving on. Number 3. For the given functions f and g, find the requested composite function. Okay, we're asked to find f of g of x. Now we don't, they're not giving us the value for x. So we're just going to substitute this g of x in to f of x as our x. So that's going to be 6 over our x is 5 over 4x minus 4. Now, this is where the tricky part comes in, and this is just a little manipulation. These are two fractions in the denominator that we have to add together that have different denominators. So we just are going to make them the same. I'm going to multiply that 4 by 4. Actually, I don't really have to multiply by 4x, but um, it's fine. Um, let's do 4x over 4x. So now our denominators are the same. Now I'm going to keep that 6 up here. So I'm just working with the denominators. And our, when I add those two fractions together, I get 5 minus 16x over 4x. Now I've got basically one fraction in our denominator, because remember, there's a parentheses around every numerator and every denominator. That 5 and that minus 16x are not, they're different terms, but they're not different factors. They're not being multiplied. So now we are not finished. We can still simplify a little bit more, because this is a 6, and you could think of that as a 6 over 1. If you remember, keep, change, flip, we never divide by fractions. We always multiply by the reciprocal. So 6, and I'm going to write it as 6 over 1, divided by, which is um, this VIN column right here, that's divided by. And we're going to change that to multiplication, and we're going to flip our denominator. Keep change flip. So our numerator will now be 4x, and the denominator will be 5 minus 16x. That's a minus. So we are multiplying by the reciprocal. Now, when you do that, 
it's not that much to do. 6 times 4 is 24x over, oh, we're just multiplying by 1, so that's kind of nice. Is that one answer? And I'm looking to see if that's an, that's an answer. And it is A. Moving on. Last problem. All right, so the last problem is now asking, given the function f and g, find the domain of the co composite function. So we are, basically g of x is the inside of our function. So we're going to be substituting this in for x. Now the first thing we're going to look at is we're going to say, wait a second, if my input is 3 over x plus 3, I cannot input an undefined value. So right away, we know that x cannot be negative 3. That's one of the values that we're going to have to take out of our domain. We're starting with all real numbers. We've got to pull out negative 3. Negative 3 isn't going to work. Now, if I substitute in 3 over x plus 3, let me show you. Um, all right, so let's do f of g of x, where g of x is, what was it again? 3 over x plus 3. So we've we'll got 3 over x plus oh, wait, wait, 3 and then plus 6. Now, again, two fractions with different denominators that we have to add together. So I'm going to multiply by x plus 3 over x plus 3. So my denominators can be the same. Remember, there are parentheses around those numerators and denominators. I'm going to keep working over here. So now I can add 3 plus 6x because I'm distributing the 6, remember, uh, plus 18 over x plus 3. Well, I mean, I can stop right there because I see this is going to, doesn't even really matter, but the denominator is getting up with as x plus 3. So it's the same denominator. And you can kind of tell that when you're plugging it in. We're not dealing with any radicals in this problem. And we're dealing with an input we clearly already know start at the beginning that we're have, um, that we've got a negative 3. And you can kind of see before you, if, once you get used to doing several of these problems, we're not going to have any other issues. Our denominator should end up as x plus 3, so we're going to have no other problem areas. So, where's the one that pulls out negative 3? There you go. There's your answer. All right. Peace out.